We're going to put a tail wrap on Zen here. Uh, some common reasons you would need to wrap a tail in the veterinary setting is for a rectal palpation on a horse. Uh, breeding farms always will wrap a tail when they're doing any kind of insemination. If a mare is going to give birth. So there's lots of reasons why you would need to wrap the tail. You can use anything from a polo wrap, that wrap. We're going to use an elastic like ace bandage like this. So this is how you wrap a tail. First, you just make sure everything is all nice. There's not a whole bunch of dirt or mud or anything in there. Then you take your bandage and you can start towards the top, just about right here. Make sure you get all the hair laying down nice and flat. Start wrapping. We don't want to do this super tight, but we don't want to do it super loose or it'll just fall off. So you get your first wrap in there and then you go towards the top and get these hairs go down to where their tailbone ends, which is about right here on Zen. Then you're going to tie a knot in the end of the hair that's left. And then this little tail, I'm going to continue to wrap up with my ace bandage. You can just wrap it around to make sure that this hair is covered. on the end of it you can just seal it with the velcro that way but now you have the wrap all this area is clean and that way if you needed to clean this area for insemination you could then you have your little knot down here that you can tie a rope into and it will pull around this side and then you will tie that rope around the horse's neck it's always very important to never tie a horse's tail to a stock if it was standing here in stocks you always want to tie the tail to the horse not to another inanimate object should something happen and the horse would panic and run off or fall down. You could really injure their tailbone, you could out their tail hair. So that's why it's very important to always tie the tail to the horse. And that is how you wrap a tail.